Alright, so if you're looking to dial in your monitor settings for both everyday use and gaming, here's a solid starting point you can work from. These are the settings I've found to be the most balanced and reliable. Feel free to tweak them based on your own setup and preferences. Let's start with general use. For brightness, somewhere between 75 and 85 usually feels right. I personally stick to 75 since it's bright enough without being harsh, especially in average room lighting. For contrast, try around 50 to 60. This helps bring out details in both light and dark parts of the screen. Sharpness works best at 50. You don't want it too sharp or things start looking weird and overly processed. For color temperature, I recommend going with user mode. That lets you fine-tune things later if you want to adjust the RGB levels. Gamma should be set to 2.2. That gives you a really good balance across all types of content, whether you're watching videos, browsing, or editing. Turn off dynamic contrast. It can be distracting since it keeps adjusting the brightness and contrast based on what's on screen. And honestly, it just doesn't look natural. Now let's get into gaming. First thing you want to do is set your refresh rate to the highest your monitor supports. Go to Windows Display Settings, then Advanced Settings, and under Refresh Rate, pick the top option. That makes a huge difference for smoother gameplay. Set the response time to the fastest setting available. It'll help reduce motion blur during fast action scenes. If your monitor has overdrive, turn it on. It helps cut down on ghosting. For black equalizer, bump it up just a little to make dark areas more visible, especially in competitive games. If your monitor supports adaptive sync like FreeSync or G-Sync compatible, definitely turn that on. It helps eliminate screen tearing and makes everything feel smoother. Just make sure to enable it on both the monitor and in your graphics card's control panel. For color fine-tuning, the RGB settings really come down to personal taste. You can play around with them or use a calibration tool if you want really accurate colors. Keep saturation at around 50 unless you prefer things more vibrant. If you're going to be using the monitor for long periods, turn on low blue light mode. It helps reduce eye strain big time. Also, enable night light in Windows or use something like F.Lux to warm the screen color in the evenings. Makes a huge difference if you're trying to wind down before bed. To wrap it up, for general use, stick to the recommended brightness, contrast, and gamma settings and adjust from there based on your room lighting. For gaming, crank up the refresh rate, use the fastest response time and enable adaptive sync for smooth, tear-free gameplay.